lady, were you here on Blowhard for the duel against Peach? Yes, I'm very hesitant to say Blowhard, even though that's a different word. You know what? Never mind that. Welcome back, everybody. <coughs> Alright. So, Blowhard is a very fun map. And it is a map that my brother and I have been going to a lot lately. Because... Alright, well... It, it, the, the main gimmick of this map is that the center of the map swaps partners around every single time you, um... You use it. So, normally I would put Boo in the back, but we, because, oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter, because I could just be losing all my money right now. So help me, if this is how we start the game, this could be disappointing. Oh, gosh, this is how we're starting the game, isn't it? Yeah, so I normally would put Boo in the back, but because of his position swap so frequently, I decided to put him in the front. Because Boo is a partner that works bo best both ways. The reason why is because I was anticipating a bigger, big enough number that maybe I could reach Peach and take out Toad in one hit. Because she put him behind for the same reason. Normally you'd put Toad in the front. Yeah, I am not surprised in the slightest. Okay, so we basically don't get to start the game. That is incredibly frustrating. So, turn one, partner loss. Because game guy. This game, this board is also crammed with game guy's faces. Probably to make up for the fact that there are no backward spaces because you can go anywhere on this board. This is why Peach did that because she is, oh wait a minute, no, if she goes, oh, yeah, not surprised in the slightest. So I'm taking a hit because why not? Oh my goodness, if I had known that was going to happen. Bet you're going to double your money. I hope you lose too, just to go on the same level as me. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so here's what we do. Ideal. Ideal situation. Because I'm losing my partner right here. A big enough number. Like, I'm talking like 8 or 10. Thank you. That's exactly what I was anticipating. So we're just going to go down, and we're going to go right back to our start, because I need a partner. If I had gotten a big enough number, I could have just went right to uh, my start, got a new partner, and just revenge hit Peach, but that is not a thing. And then she's going to also get a four, which I can deal with. This board is a lot of intervals of two, because there are two spaces basically in between your start and the uh, fan. The only places with multiple spaces in between junctions are the, the uh, top right corner and the bottom right corner. Alright, so we're just going to go and visit Game Guy again. Do I even necessarily care about my partner? Um, yes, I greatly do right now. Because Snowman's a great partner. So am I just going to get the boring ass 50-50 easy lose money game? Or am I going to get something that I can actually maybe play? Oh, sweet. Game guy. Chain chomp. Alright, he likes mushrooms more than cake and he's so hungry he could faint. I'm gonna still go with Big Chomp. I should probably like Little Chomp feels a little more promising, but his time that times eight. Not sure. Oh. Oh my goodness! I can't believe it. Oh my lord! Okay, we're off to a very terrible start. I have not been able to keep a partner for a turn. Because whoop de do that game I keep I landed on that game guy spi space twice in three turns. This is very that's actually very frustrating. I guess I'm not going anywhere anymore. 
Oh, uh, if Mark is watching this, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna chassis me for that one. Or whatever the word is, he's gonna, he's gonna express some massive disappointment in my decision to not pick Little John. I felt like, I honestly did not think that the, the times 8 would actually win that. Alright, that's a lot better of a number. It unfortunately only gets us one space in ahead because I have to go all the way back to my start yet again. Alright. Let's see what I get. Okay. I got Boo again. Which is great. I'm gonna put Boo behind. And I'm gonna go down. I completely forgot which way Peach went. This is okay, because I think she might have actually gone towards the fan. Which means that she'll blow, um, sniff it to the back. Oh, I'm terrible at this minigame. game. Yeah, I am so bad at that game. I have never won this game on my own file. That record's not even mine. That's my bro, that's Mark's. I am terrible at that minigame because I am so bad at button mashing the A button. And everybody I could button mash against is faster than me. Mark's faster, the hard CPUs are faster. I think the only way I can win that minigame is if the CPUs are on normal. Or lower. Okay, that's good, this is good, this is good. She's calling me over here anyway, so I'm safe. Now, can we get a mini game I can actually win? Okay, okay. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can beat Peach to the punch on this one. The arm was down. Let's go. I'll get my. I'll take my dub. I'll take my first W. I kind of need this. I would like to keep a partner this time. Alright. Now we have 30 coins. So I can keep Boo for approximately 10 turns, which is more than enough. You know, assuming something doesn't go horribly wrong. Alright. Thing is, Boo's behind me. Let's try going this way. I can't do much to Peach right now, but if I have two partners, that would be great. Get opponent spaces? No, minus 10 coins, okay. I need to catch Peach fast, too, because I need to do some damage before... Okay, good, she's level one. Unfortunately, my partner is still... My, my, my power is behind me. All right, I need something. I need something pretty strong here. Ooh, okay, okay, I know what to do here. I have a better idea. There we go. Let's get that double boo going. <clears throat> I now have a counter attack everywhere, and I'm pretty sure. I'll take the, I'll take the plunge. <clears throat> we get rid of Sniff it. I have it, and we uh, deal a hit on Peach. And he avoided it. Oh my goodness! Why? Uh, why is it that my, it seems like when the, I when the game wants me to have bad luck, it makes it painfully obvious? All right. So here's the thing. He deals two damage to me, and I immediately kill him. So, oh, she's not doing it. She knows. All right, so this is kind of bad. Mm. That's pretty bad. I need something with less HP than that. 
All right, well, she is now right in front of me. We can go for shot number two. But we need to get some coins, because I'm not going to be able to keep these boots for very long. Oh, that's so perfect. All right. Now, this is assuming we can get something bigger than, like, a three. Which I doubt. Oh, hey, we got a nine. See, keep your, keep your expectations low when it comes to RNG. So that way, when you actually get what you want, it's a lot more satisfying. All right, we've evened things out. We've evened things out. This is what we need. Now, I need to get some money. Hmm. Might be better if I just take the shot with this. Maybe I can get some money out of this face. Oh, please, please, please. I'll take it. That's be that was the that was honestly the second best case scenario. I actually would have preferred not to go back to my start. But that is good. Get some money. Alright, we need to hunt her down. And thankfully it really does not matter what position my partners are in, so that 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 guy in the middle, not a problem. Alright, if we can get a big enough number, we might be able to catch her. Like, we need a 7 or higher. That's a pretty big ask. Yeah, that's understandable. Alright. It actually is in my best interest to go up from here. So I can hit a minigame and maybe get some more coins. I'm, like, unfortunately Boo is pretty fragile, so anything, like, anything with a high attack power can instantly take this train out. But, at the same time, the higher the attack power that hits Boo, the more damage he'll deal on counterpart, counterattack. So, it's a really tough, it's a tough situation. Because the highest base attack is Piranha Plant, which would just... Once again, even things out, because he deals three damage to me, or Boo, kills Boo, and then Peach takes two damage as well, because, and then I also take two damage, because Boo only has one HP. So there isn't really much my counter-attack can do right now, but that's because I would rather, I would actually rather have myself just straight up attack her. Because we also have an attack power of three on both ends. <laughs> yeah, over, almost go ahead. Overshot that goal. Thankfully, I had enough time. Alright. Thankfully, this board's not that complicated either. There's very few places to run and hide. Because you have access to the entire board. There's no junction that tells you to go a specific way. That's what I like about this board. The, I, I kind of want to power these Boos up, because if I power them up, I can win immediately. And Boo can survive a counterattack. Uh-oh. Hmm. Now wait just a second. What happens if both Boos die? Oh, it's going back, so that's not a problem. Yeah, but what happens if both of them were to die? From a chain chop, no less. Oh, you have made a terrible, terrible miscalculation, Peach. Alright. So basically, I get higher <laughs> gain. You, the only way you could screw this up is if the chain chop avoids the attack, which I am also anticipating. However, on a dice roll, you can't screw me over this time. What are you gonna do? Give me a zero? Yeah, that was the best they can do, because there's a zero involved. Alright. I'm gonna have to sacrifice one of my boos. But, to get rid of that thing, it's worth it. Yeah, get that extra heart. And maybe if we're lucky, we can get boo back right at the gate. We're gonna be swapping them around anyway. 
Yeah, that, that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna be, I think we're gonna be hitting Peach again, if we're lucky. I think we are, actually. Oh, no, no, I uh, brought her back here. Whoops, oh well. I still got a little bit of an edge here. All right. We'll come up with something. Get some, get some, get some more money, because, like, this, right now, the mo like, I want money so that I can be able to power up my partners. I don't take that into consideration very often, how very vital and meaningful it is to power up partners. Like, normally I don't go for it because I'm usually not, uh, too poor to afford uh, their massive salaries, but right now, I could probably get away with it, especially with how small this board is and how... How much easier it is to land on a uh, power-up space. And if I get another 20 coins right here, which I am, that puts me in a, like, seriously, like, a much better financial position. All right. Now, booze in the front. I have a four left. I'm going to go right back to my start, because as much as I like the bomb, not exactly ideal, because he's not really strong. He's good because he will hunt Peach down and totally nullify any partner she has, which is good. Where are you going, Peach? Where do you think you're... Honey, you... You understand that I need a... Oh, like, a two. I literally have a... Okay. Well, when I say I have a 90% chance of hitting her... That's a 90% chance in quotations because I can get a 1 right here. Oh, hey, I didn't. This? Okay, no. Come on. Boom! Oh, I got Toad. But that works too because now I'm safe from losing my coins. Alright, so Peach takes another hit here. This is good. This is an this is a pretty average game, but we're doing really good. Damn, I really would like to hit one of those spaces. I think right now I can afford to do so. <coughs> Eight coins, not bad for everything I'll be getting. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoa. All right. So I have an idea. That's good. That's nice. Big enough number, I reach her. Small enough number, I can maybe hit a power-up space and cut her off. See, that's what I was thinking. If I get a one, well, I might be able to cut her off this way. Let's go. Power me up, baby. And it's super easy to avoid my start on this map. Okay. Got Boo behind. So if she attacks Boo, that kills Goomba and kills her. Peach is in a very, very, very dangerous spot right now. Everything I have can take care of her. Toad kills her immediately and can, like, her Goomba's got 1 HP and both of my characters have an attack power of at least 2 or higher. All right, now I'm gonna go up. I'm not taking my risk with Game Guy. See, no matter what, she engages combat with me, she loses. I engage combat with her, she loses. Hmm. She's making this very tricky. The only way she doesn't lose an encounter with me is if she hits Toad first. Which means it's probably just better if I try to get to her first, which I can't, don't, I don't think I could do from here. Definitely not. But I'm also winning by um, Heart Piece. I, 
See, we're in a win con position, but that win con position can easily change. Alright. So, I'm not too huge on that. If I could get Boo to hit her, that would be fantastic. I think if I get a big enough number, I can hit her from here. One, two, three, four, five. If I get a nine or higher, I can hit her. Ooh, that's not good. It's pretty bad. Right, yeah, see, this is where the wind con can get completely screwed over. All right, that time 16 is a little too tempting. I'm gonna go with Big Chomp this time. They both say, say something bad, and that time 16 does not invoke a lot of confidence. Oh, come on, please, please. Thank you. I really need my money here. All right. I need Peach to stop. Like, Peach is doing a good job of at avoiding me. Which, she... It, it really is just in her best interest to do, because, like, both of my partners just immediately deny her. Well, not deny, but... If Boo hits her, if, or if either of them hit her, dead on, she's done. If Boo hits Koopa, she's done. The only way she lives this is if Toad hits Koopa. Which we're aiming not to do. Need a little bit of silence here for the uh, the focus. I love this mini game. My brother and I go ham on this one. Oh, I hate this rotation. I'm gonna jump really late for this. I also kind of want to be a little bit quiet so I can pay attention to when the uh, clock, the hands start uh, shifting rotation. There we go. Uh, I was ready to go. I was ready to go as long as I needed to go there. I'll take a little bit more on the cash. It's always good considering I'm paying eight coins for these guys. All right. Now the number is, okay, I think I need at least a Five or higher. Perfect. That's it. That's game. Boo's gonna smack her up right here and now. Let's get. Let's end this. And you are not dodging this, bitch. I'm pretty sure the characters themselves cannot dodge attacks. That's pretty, that would be, that would, that's devastating even if you weren't on one health. Literally, you only survived that on full. Alright, there we go. We are so far copping only one loss here, which is pretty amazing. But, like, I'm just surprised. But I'm also thankful that things are going very well. And catch my fall, baby. Let's go. I love how this this is literally this mini game um, or this game is literally just like here's how we're gonna decide the winner. We're dropping the losers to their death. <coughs> I think Mario Party Six also did this. Mario Party Five uh, sucked people into a uh, into a void. Oh yeah, we'll take that S. Later, bitch. How distressing. You've won yet again. Of course I have. Are you expecting anything less? I'll take that 
pinky star. I'll take that Patrick star. Four down, three to go. The last, we're on to our last uh, main, mainline board before we get to just duel them board. Like, the we, we go through the boards and the dual boards in order. Because, like, they're paired, the boards are paired with the duels, but then the unlock, the stuff against Walu Waluigi and Daisy are uh, scripted shit. That is the ugliest cop out I've ever seen. You moved. You you just you just straight up moved, Bowser. Bro, what on earth? Like, yeah, you are an idiot. You did that was a zero IQ move by you, buddy. All right. Well, enough of Bowser's stupidity. We'll see everybody next time when we hit up Creepy Cavern. See you guys next time.